so here is the here's my here's my strategy uh, chart. So basically, here's my trading chart. This is this is what I'm posting all the time now when when I'm I'm trading a particular uh, arc is I'll be posting this, uh, <clears throat> and then when I move when the, when the next breakout happens is it'll move into a 15 minute. There'll be a 15 minute. So I'll have a five minute and a 15 minute chart. Uh, and then I'll develop an hour chart as well. I'll do the same thing, yeah? So what, what I'm gonna do is layer in, layer in just these two indicators. The, the white indicator is the 20 EMA, and the blue indicator is the 55 EMA. And when they cross over each other, they, they, they create a divergence. <laughs> You get a pump, you get a, a pump up, or you get a drop down. And <clears throat> what I'm going to talk you through tonight is how to read them relating to reading the arc and then also the different timelines. So I have it here, and then I have it on, um, I have it here as well, yeah? So I think what I'll do is I'll use this page because it has the, the, pathway of the, the the arc and then also there's this channel in it yeah so I've been following this channel down here's all the touch points and again I'm looking at the 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 MAs here to to guide me with where price action is and how it's going yeah so just to give you an example of the timeline element of element of it I'm gonna go back to the start and, and go through it but I want to show you this first is now, on the other one, I have the, the, the VWAP. So I'll put the VWAP in as well. There's the VWAP. So the VWAP, the VWAP is the yellow line, yeah? And um, I think I will put that at three. There we go. Let me just make sure this is the same. Okay, so now let's have a look. Is we are on the first thing I want you to understand is the, how the different timelines work and how it changes things. So we're on the five minute, and you can see that price action is look. There was a there was a pump here. Is it it dipped? It broke through again, and look, there's this pump on the five minute, and you can almost see you can actually actually see that the 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 one two three four five there's the impulse and look here it's coming down for the for the correction possibly a one a, an a a b and a c okay but you can see how it's starting to crest uh, and price action is coming down so that's just on the five minute so now we're going to look at the same price action but we're going to look at the at the 10 minute okay so now you see this this pump is the the, the five didn't cross the the 10 on the 10 minute, but it did on the five minute. So where did the where did the 10 uh, cross over? So again, look at the, the dip here, it, it dips and then it cuts through and then look, there's the pump. So you can see the pump on the 10 minute has done two steps to it, one, two, okay? So you might even say that this is one here, two, and then three. So, and again, it's cresting here again. So there might be a little bit of a deeper correction here where you get the, the, the A, the B, and the C all the way to, to uh, the 55 here, yeah? Because there's, you see there's a bigger wave here. But I just want you to look at the, look at the, now I'm gonna go to the 15. Look at the, the, the MAs and, and where they cross, yeah? So, so now, we got to go we got to go down here so look at the 5 here crossing the vwap crossing the 55 so there's the where it turned look at that big pump here sideways pump again pump again so since down here the the 5 hasn't crossed the 55 yeah and then look, here's the 20 EMA, the 55, and the VWAP. Now when we go to the half hour, 
Again, look, look at the positions they're in. And the 10 crosses the, the VWAP here. The 10 crosses the 55 here. And again, you've got that motion. You've got that motion here, yeah? So you can see it's the same price action, but when you view it on the different timelines, is you get to notice, you know, what, what is creating the pump? What, what movement and what timeline is related to this pump? So, and this might seem a, a little confusing. So this is why this is why this is why I'm showing that the timeline part of it uh, can be a little bit odd to get your your head around it. Yeah. So now go to the hour. So I'm gonna. That's why I'm sticking on the same price action, so you can see. So look down here. Look the 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 there was a drop and the the candles are hanging off the VWAP here. There's the five. There's the the or the, there's the twenty. There's the fifty five. The VWAP breaks the 20 here. So it's the VWAP coming up here breaks the 20. Pushes through price action. Look, breaks up, sits on the 55. It goes sideways, 55 is this way. And that extra pump is here's the 20 breaking the 55. Here's the 20 breaking the, the, the VWAP, which again, on the one hour is indicating that yes, there might be a, an ABC correction here in the short term, but the five crossing the the, v, uh, the twenty crossing the view up here is is an indication that there's continuation there. It's going to keep going because this pump is only the beginning of a of a bigger pump. It'll probably sit back here a little bit and then go again. So let's have a look at the two hour. <clears throat> now there's a point where the 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 hours is it's a small space we're moving in and you'll start to recognize that you know the some of the timelines the earlier timelines are more are more involved where the later timelines is they're less involved so we, we you'll see that as we go along there's the VWAP again look at that sharp turn on the two hour you know and there was the VWAP forced that sharp turn is VWAP goes sideways but look, the 55 is higher. So this, on earlier timelines, the 55 is, was under this, was sitting on it. Now, look, there's a rejection. But it comes back and sits on the 20. And then the VWAP comes up, the, the 20 is coming up, the 55 is moving along here. So now, if there isn't a, a drop and a turn here, because you can sort of see the VWAP's going, going sideways here, the 55 is going sideways. If the 20 comes up, and breaks through the 55 and break or the VWAP and breaks through the 55 is again we're going to get a continuation and it'll be a very nice pump because it's on the two hour. So it lasts longer. There's more it'd be more more strength to it. So you can see that the 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 20 here is lining up for a, a breakthrough. <clears throat> that's if it happens. You know, there can be capitulation and that's that's also one of the things we'll see where there's there's a spill, yeah. So now we go to the four hour. Again, there's the the VWAP. You see the turn on the four hour. Is price action again gets gets a little rejected here, but look how the VWAP gets rejected at the 20 here. But then the VWAP is coming up and it sits on the VWAP. Look at these rejections, but the VWAP is strong for support. VWAP crosses the 20, and there we are in another pump. So now you can see that the challenge is, is it's hitting the 55. We might get that rejection again coming down, hitting the VWAP, hitting the 20. Is what will break the 55 here? Is the 20 breaking through the VWAP, pushing up through the VWAP, and that creates a pump in itself, and that pump but can come up and start to push through the 55. And what happens, you might get a push up, it comes back and back tests the 55 to sit on it and confirm it as support like this. Look, it pushes through, comes back onto its support. It rejects here, comes back down, pushes through, comes back, sits on it for support. And then that gives space for these guys to, to move on up, yeah? So you can see the, 
the, the, the potential play of it is this could also get rejected here and can send it back down. So there's, there's that as well. So now the four hour, if we go to the 12 hour, <coughs> and I see in the 12 hour, you can see, you can see here's the three five minute arcs within the, within the 15, yeah? So, and these always get stretched out when you go through the time. So now here, looks very different. Look how the the VWAP is coming down, and look, the, 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 the breakout of this is, look at the VWAP comes up here, then the VWAP comes down and breaks to 20, here's the spill, hits off the 55, there's a rejection, is the VWAP continues down, breaks through the 55, and look, there's a bigger spill. There's a rejection, the VWAP is turned, it pulls it back up, and again, back down again, VWAP drops again, VWAP turns around, up again. Now look, the VWAP is coming up. VWAP's coming up, and it's after hitting the 20. And look at this here, here's the 55 here. So again, <clears throat> is, is getting that push up through, is getting the, the push up through, it's quite possible um, that, <clears throat> I don't know how long it's going to take, but is if it can break through this, it could push it up to the way, the Elliott wave that's coming up here, it could push it up to three. There'd be a bit of a battle to get through this. We'll push it up to three. Four is coming back down to sit on one of these. And then five is the blow off top. You get that blow off top. Something something like that. That's it. I can see it. It's a story, but it's 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 plausible. So you can see now how the the price action and the 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 EMAs and the VWAP are dancing with each other through the different time frames. Let's just go to the the daily. Let's see what's going on the daily. Again, let me stretch this out and now look at look at this here. See this. Uh, Oh, Mahela, what did you call this again? I always get, uh, not a death cross, a, an evening star, a morning star. I always get a uh, Isn't it Mahela? Are you there? Crypto clear? No, oh, she's quiet. Okay. Um, this, this here, this, this, this candle here, is a massive rejection, massive rejection. Okay, so now, but part of that is, is that this rejection here, is this candle needs to, needs to be full. So we need to see that candle getting, getting up, or the next candle getting up nice and high with this candle. We need to see that that rejection is now getting a nice, a nice response up, yeah? So, but it's still pretty decent as it is. Um, still got an hour and 40 minutes, so we'll see We'll see how this how this goes. Uh, one of the scenarios I'll tell you about when we start going back down through the through the the the, the MAs, yeah. So so there is look here's the here's the VWAP coming down. Look how close the twenty is here. Look how close the fifty five is here. They were so close, yeah. I was talking about this a few days ago. Look, the 20 is going to break, the 50, and that's going to be a pump. And it came right to it. And then the VWAP came down and said, not a chance. I'm going to break this. And then look at the spill. Here's that spill. There's the VWAP coming down and, and creating the spill, yeah? Look at that candle. So now if we go on to the two-day, Again, it seems to be getting harder to read. Um, but on the two day, again, here's the VWAP. On the two day, the VWAP is sort of leveling out here. There's the 20, and there's the 55. Now I'll go to the four day. Now because we're moving in such a small space, is these, these, uh, Oh, sorry, that was back to the four hour. I'm going to the four day. Okay, look, you can see now that the 
it's showing us a much bigger a much bigger time frame so now on the four day again look you can see price action is is below these guys where as we go through the timeline is at the start the, the 20 and the 5 were underneath on the on the minutes and the hours but now on the days it's it the price action is is below these two moving averages but notice how the VWAP VWAP is always with price action so you can see the 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 the, the drop here the the drop the the rejection candle here and again we're looking for the, the lift back up so now the weekly let's go to the weekly <clears throat> so now again look there's the view up here is is one two and then a retrace and a retrace and it is spiked all the way all the way I move this to make sure I see where the it is spiked to uh, okay so on the on the weekly no uh, gotta move this as well what, what I'm looking for is when I move ah Jesus, there is. See the red line there. This is where the this is where the weekly has spiked to. So now look is look at this candle. Look at this candle. Here's the the retrace. Here's the retrace all the way back down to to here. Yeah, and then look here's the bottom down here. So if you remember when we put the fibs on this, is I believe that bottom turned out to be at the three the 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 seven eight the seven eight six look is here's the wave up and then here's the abc correction all the way down to the to the seven eight six it's a solid reason to say that 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 that's complete could it go further yeah there could be one more leg down we talked about but it seems like it's a it came down to the seven eight six and this is this is a strong this candle is a strong rejection it's a strong rejection candle and again it's on the weekly is is it's a, it's a good indication that the bottom is done yeah for now right now and it's 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 going to move up but again you know the way things are at the moment with politics and finance so and also as well because of the transition there's so much going on in the ma's uh there's a lot of just a lot of um fake outs a lot of faints of of stuff yeah Okay, so now this is getting this is actually getting, getting too hard to read because uh, let me flick to let me flick to this one, and I'll go to the the two week. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Bear with me. I got I got to scroll this out because it's a, it's a it's a five. We're on a five minutes, a really small space we're working in. So when you when you when you go up into the timelines, um this the the size of this space we're working in gets really small. So every time it goes up, I, I gotta have to I have to zoom, I have to zoom in and open it out. So now if I go to the weekly and I'll pull back down a little bit here. Oh, okay. And look, the the triangle is even gone. Okay, no, I'll 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 go back to. Uh, I'll go back to. Um, I'll go back to this one. Essentially, I'll tell I'll tell you what I'll tell you what you're going to see is look. There's the. There's the there's the twenty here. Here's here's price action, and look how high the twenty is above. Where's the 55? I'm not even sure the, on the two. Ah, there's the 55. The 55 is down here, and the 20 is up here. Again, price action's in between. On the two weekly, is the price action came down and wicked, wicked off the 55 here. So if you look at this, is it came down, hit the 55, rejected back up, 55 back up, 55 back up, and these are two weeks each in length. So look at this, down a rejection, 
to pump back up, a little retrace and pump back up, down again, big rejection. And again, this two week is going to change on the 28th of February. In three days time, this, this one is going to change. So you can see down, little down, up, back down one more time, and then a, a push up. So that, that seems like a solid, a solid rejection, yeah? Um, now, again, there's the 20 here. Where's the 55? That's not, that's just a line I have, yeah? Where's the 55? Is the 55 even shown on the chart? And there's the, I can't even see the 50. I don't think some, sometimes you go so high into the timeline, uh, the higher MAs don't show. Yeah, so there's the, there's the month and there's the 20 there. So now on the month, look, here's price action here. And on the month, is is price action is after getting above the 20 again and again because we're coming to the end of the month is that's a good sign you want you want to see that you want to see that one thing that we don't want to see is i'm back on the week i'm back on the week and you see the 20 here see the 55 what we don't want to see is the 20 come down and cross 55 here on the weekly we don't we do not want to see that because that that's that's going to bring it down that's going to be a solid push down uh, that could be bringing it down to 27 if this if this breaks through it could be bringing it down to 27 so we don't want to see that but remember things can get close because this is back to the daily look this is the 20 on the day coming up it's going to break it. We're going to pump here. It's going to go. No, oh, a turn. In fact, we're going down another leg. Okay, but now look at this. Look where the 20 came. Look where the 10 is, or the 55 is. Okay, look where the VWAP is. So now price action came down. Down here, big rejection. Big rejection. And is now coming back up. So now the question is, with this big rejection, this coming back up, we're looking at a target of about, uh, uh, I have a little higher now. I'm looking at a target of about about 81. I think this retrace is, is potentially looking at getting up to 81. If it gets up to 81, it breaks the 20 and the 55. It comes up, Mountain Peak is here is it comes back down it'll do a retrace it'll bounce is and again this is the spike through a lot of times you get the spike through so it'll be the push here possibly the 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 tree the rejection and then the the blow off top which will also be a, a bearish divergence that will it'll, it'll, it'll break it it'll create a, a correction there'll be the abc correction the one two three four five the impulse correction down is and then coming around and having a go at this again but rather than it being a spike through it'll start to work its way up and push through because that's a lot of times what it does it has its spike through gets a rejection and then has its push through you can see it here all the time spike through rejection and then a push through I even tried it here look tried it rejected went up a little higher came down again rejected come up a little higher now a sharp rejection and a proper push through. It broke it this time. So now will we see the same thing here? It is a, a, a spike through, a rejection, and then a push through. Or a rejection and then another leg down. Another leg down. So that's what we gotta see. But this here is, this is why this is really important. This is such a solid, uh, uh, a solid rejection here. Um, so it's an evening, it's an evening star in the, uh, our morning star. Well, I'll find out and I'll find out. I always get them mixed up. Um, okay. So now let's go back into the smaller time frame. Um, let's just simplify this to, to reading the price action as it's going along in this in this five minute arc, yeah? 
So here we are, look back to back to something a bit more reasonable, yeah. So now I'm gonna go back to the start of this. Okay, start of this arc. Okay, now you can see you can see because this is this is what's frustrating sometimes about um uh, trading view is because I went up and down through the timeline so much is it pulls it distorts it distorts things so look at my 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 uh, my arcs here got distorted so this I need to bring this back I need to bring this back to here okay I need to bring this over here and then I need to bring this down to here Up there okay <clears throat> again looking at a target of about 80 or so <clears throat> 67 okay something like that so here's the top here's the bottom price action is is moving within this um, and it's quite possible that that what we might get here remember because of the big rejection is a W Here's a leg, here's a leg, here's a leg, and then up we go. And then the, the W, and then the potential breakout. So that's that's what we're looking at, is so, 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 something possibly like that, if it's going to break up, yeah? So now, here we are, and when we look at it on the five minute, So the question I have here is, here's this peak, is which, which time frames are most related to, to this lift here, okay, and then the turn and the drop, which time frame is most related to it? So you can say, oh yes, it was the 15 minute that pumped this. It was the, the 20 crossing the, the VWAP or the 55 on the 15 minute, and it did it. It might have been the hour. So that's what I want to explore, and just so you can get your 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 idea of it, yeah, because then you can begin to follow the the time the time frames and how they're responding to it. So I'm looking at the a sharp turn on the twenty here on the five minute time frame, a sharp turn on the twenty, straight through the fifty five. There's a pump straight through the VWAP. Look at that nice pump up. Came back, set on it again, pumped up again. Let's do it. One, two, three, and then here's a retrace. Okay, but let's have a look and see. Uh, I'm going to do the five, the ten, the fifteen, the half hour, the hour, four hour, um, and let's just do those times and just see. So now here's the ten minute, similar. 50, the 15 minute again similar then when we look at a half hour it's still the same thing with all of them is the the 20 takes a sharp turn here pushes through gives the pump here's the hour Same, same. Here's the four hour. So now the four hour is the one where it 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 changes it changes where is look at the the VWAP drop. The VWAP turns, and then the VWAP cuts through the 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 the, the, the twenty and the fifty five where they're crossing over. So it's not just the VWAP crossing here, the 20 crosses at the same time. And look, that's where you get that pump. Look at that. So I would suggest is the one action, this, this is what I'm thinking, 
what's the of all the different timelines the one action that has created the, this pump this is the one action is the on the four hour the VWAP and the 20 cross the 55 at the same time and in the space of four hours is you get the pump put in a second four hours you get a retrace and you get a pump again so you can see that this this action was 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 a very strong cross a very strong divergence to create this now you can see the relationship with all the smaller ones but this was the one that that you could see that really gave this the pump okay and then it comes back down is now here's the the again the VWAP the 20 and the 55 and again the VWAP crossing through but now if we looked at that on the one hour is let's see what the one hour tells us so again there's the pump on the on the one hour is the 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 VWAP crosses the 55 gives it a pump and what adds to it is the VWAP keeps going but then the 20 crosses the 55 gives it that extra bump it comes back down and look it it lands on the 20 little rejection drops through to the 55 and then drops through the 55 and now now they are they are resistance look the VWAP is resistance now and it's floating along it but that's on the hour if you come back to the half hour again look here's the half hour the the 20 breaks to 55 the 20 breaks the VWAP again creates the pump comes back to the 20 bounces off the VWAP now it cuts through the 20 the VWAP and the 55 and they're bouncing along like this but now the question is why aren't they why aren't why isn't it dropping if it's gone like this why aren't they dropping is there it do they have support on one of the other timelines so if we went to the 15 and go back to the same price action Again, there's the five or the twenty cutting the, the fifty-five and the VWO. There's the lift, it drops back, very similar, cuts through. Look at this. Now you can see on the fifteen is they're not it's not hanging off so much. It's look, it's breaking through the VWAP more and the twenty here. The twenty here has been as as much as it's resistance, the twenty is, is getting these moments of support. So you can see these moments of support. Look, it's up here a bit more support, breaks through, now it's now it's back up on support again, yeah. So let's go to the five. Okay. So again, look, there's the Sharp turn on the the 20, cutting through the 55. 55 decides to go with it. Sharp turn on the 55 as well, and the VWAP. It's a big push up. Bounces back on the VWAP. Sharp turn down. This is this is probably 12 o'clock. When you see when you see you see when you see like that, that's a that's a that's a 12, 23.50. That's it. That's a 12 a.m. GMT. Is the VWAP resets itself all the time. So when you see the VWAP do a line like that, up or down, is that's the 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 uh, the the reset at twelve o'clock GMT. Now this is how it works. Look, there's the impulse. Here's the correction. Because we're in a correction, when the VWAP resets itself, it's and there's more correction to go. The VWAP will turn around and be resistance. Look here. It is support. The VWAP is support here. Because we're in a correction, the VWAP resets itself and becomes resistance. So now, if it, you'll, you'll, you'll see that all the time. Are we in an impulse up or a correction down? When it resets, 
is this is this is what happens. So sometimes you get the change and the VWAP will become support and give you a lift. Other times it'll just hold it down. So now on the five here, look, is you see the, the resistance. There's the, the 20 here. But you can see on the on the on the 20, there's lots of moments where it's breaking up through and it's getting support on the 20, but again it's getting rejected off the VWAP. There's a bigger breakthrough here, getting rejected off the 55, sitting on it here. So you can see that the, the, the 20 doesn't doesn't want to let it capitulate. But the VWAP isn't letting it uh, the VWAP isn't letting it um, break above. But look, here's here's 12 o'clock. Here's 12 o'clock again, GMT is now VWAP comes down to where price action is. Now what happens is that the, the, the MAs are above the VWAP. Okay, now the VWAP becomes support. Look, now it's lifting. And look, here's a here's an Elliott wave. Here's a little wave, and it's it's now sitting on the VWAP. Okay, gives it a little lift. Okay. Now while it's doing all this, it's gone from skyline. Is this a dead cat bounce? That first drop, dead cat bounce, coming down to for a spike. Floating along. You always get a little lift and then you get the drop. So resistance peak. Now look, it drops, it drops true again. So now let me let me have a close look at this and then I'm gonna go back over the other timelines. You can see where the the the, the VWAP is, is support, it gets lost again. The 20 cuts through the 55, cuts through the VWAP. Look, you get this drop is how do you know it's also coming in to an end you can you can look at it as a as an elliott wave an impulse but if you just look with your eye is do you see when you start to see lots of candles hang, hang when it goes like this lots of candles are hanging off you get that final drop is because you can see that it's turning so it turns up cuts through you know and then it drops down so here's the the the, the legs of it dropping down down it comes but now let's look at Let's look at the 15. When we look at this on the 15, is the 20 cutting through the 55, the 20 cutting through the VWAP, there's that spike, retraces, there's the, the 20, capitulate and falling down some more, it turns, there's a, that's a turn of the day again. Look how the VWAP just turns. Now it's support, then it capitulates. The 20 cutting through. So now let me be a little bit more specific here. Is when you see the price action come up like this and then the 20 turn, is you know that it's gonna come down. The red candle's telling you, but then you know, you look at the 20, the angle of the 20 as it's coming down. Is look at the 55 meeting the VWAP. Now the 55 is getting in line with the VWAP and the 20 is going to cut through both. So you can see, if this keeps going, the 20 is going to cut through the VWAP and the 55 at the same time. And you know when you get those two points together and the 20 cutting through it, or the VWAP cutting through them, whatever, whichever where they all come together and one is cutting through the rest, is you know it's going to be a drop or pump. So there's a more substantial drop here. How do you know this is going to start to turn? Because when they start hanging like this, they drop, they drop, they hang, they drop, they're hanging, is when they're hanging like this, like fruit, is when they're hanging like this, you know that the, look, the, the price action is dropping, but the MA isn't following it. It's starting to turn. So now you know there's going to be a retrace. Okay, and it comes up, it comes up. Now, is it going to turn and go up? If it is, you're going to see this break through this. But you see the spike and it sits on here and it sits on here and it sits on here. It's tired itself to get up here. And we also know that this is resistance peak. So we know that this is going down. So we're, we're, we're this is the lift up the, before the drop down, the final lift for the release. So the 20 turns and look, down it comes. 
So this is where you get the, the, the big drop. So the, they all go together and you get the big spill. And then you see the, the 50 cross and the view up here on the way down is telling you it's there for continuation. Here's the, the, the 20 cross and the view up. It's telling you it's for continuation. Is there's a drop, it retraces, and then drops again. The 20 cutting through here again is telling you there's a bit more in it. When you see the 20 turn like this and break up through the view up, we can already see the bottom there, but you can see that, okay, now we're up for the 20 catching it, comes up to the 55, sits on the 20. Now look, it breaks through, comes back down. The 20 couldn't break the 55 here. Comes down, sits on the VWAP. And you know because the VWAP has done a long drop here, is that the VWAP is going to be a good a good support here. So now look at support. 12 o'clock again, a reset. There you go. If you look at the time down here, you can and you can see it by it, yeah. A reset, and you go, is this ready to go yet? No, it's not. So look, you got you got a lift. Is is here is here is um here is the a wave, an impulse. So now, if you look at this closer, I guarantee you, you'll see this as a, a, a hidden bearish divergence where the the price action shoots up, but the RSI is, is coming down. So now what happens here is that the, 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 the VWAP starts to come down and there's capitulation, you know, but it's a small one and it lands on the 55. Look, it bounces, it bounces, and again, back above the VWAP for support reaches a peak and then down it comes here's the 20 cutting through the 55 and the and the VWAP and here we have this drop here we have this capitulation yeah and again the same the same story is the 55 cutting through the, the VWAP the 20 cutting through the VWAP hanging then it drops now look you can see them all hanging like this as the 20 starts to come around, turns up, now it's working through again, the 20 cutting the VWAP and the 55, and now we have to lift back up. So now the 20 is cutting through the 55, look, it's sitting on it like this. VWAP takes a, again, 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock again, VWAP comes up, and because it's already turned, and it was a, a, deep, a deep drop, that we know this is for continuation. So it sits on it, and it sits on it, breaks through to the 55, comes back up again for support. And now here we have a nice run. And look at this, the, 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 the 50 is doing a run here again, pushing up, yeah? Here's the 55 breaking the VWAP. So now if this keeps going much further, it's gonna, it's gonna have to do a retrace to, like this here, it goes so far, it's gonna have to come back down and sit on it, yeah? But now let's look at the support of this. This is where I'm going to use the other MAs again, yeah? Where's this? Where's the support of this? So I'm going to go to the to the 30 MA, or 30 minute time frame. So look, there's the 30 minute pushing as well. Breaking through the VWAP, 55 is coming up here. It, it looks like if the 55 keeps going and breaks the VWAP, that'll also give it another little push. But if we go to the hour, okay, look at the hour, the 15, or the, sorry, the 20 MA is after breaking the VWAP, and here we are, look at that pump. So I'm going to go to the two hour. Okay, so now, now, now we can see, we're, I'm checking, what I'm checking for is continuation here is is what what needs to happen next i'm actually going to go to the 90 minute aha okay so look there on the 90 minute the 20 has broken the 55 the 20 is just about to break the vwap which is telling me that there's more there's more pump in this and we are up to 75.52 at the moment so if this gets a good old pump if it gets up to 77, 78, is it's quite possible that that's going to be three of the, the impulse wave up, possibly three, back down for a four, and then 
blow off top for a five, getting ourselves up to uh, possibly uh, 80, 81 maybe, max. Uh, so there's the 90 minute, making a promise. Let's have a look at the, 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 the two hour. Do you see the two hour? If the 90 minutes can get that pump and the, the two hour, when's the two hour, the two hour? Now you see this is the thing is, let me go back to the 90 minutes for a sec. The 90 minutes, this candle turned at half 10. It turned 25 minutes ago. So now that's not gonna turn again until 12 o'clock. The two hour isn't gonna turn till 12 o'clock. So do you remember what I was saying to you is that, oh, if this crosses over, it'll pump, but it it's 90, it, it's still, it's still, well, it's five to 11 now. There's, there's an hour and five minutes before this will cross over. So let's go back to the hour because the hour is going to change in, in, in five minutes. So the hour is going to change in, in five minutes. And again, it looks like the, the, the 20 cross and the view up there. Again, that, that looks like continuation is they'll all just keep moving up a little bit. And the 90 minute. Yeah, you see the 90 minute changed at half 10. 25 minutes ago, the 90 minute is creating this candle here. The, the 20 broke the 55, but it didn't break the VWAP. If it breaks the VWAP, there'll be another pump in it. And it's not gonna happen until 12 o'clock. So what's gonna happen at 12 o'clock, the VWAP here, it'll go straight, whatever price action is, you'll see that straight line again. It'll go to it again. And then the question is, is will the VWAP be support or resistance? Will the VWAP be support or resistance? Okay, that's the question. So will we have a little retrace or will we have continuation? That's the question. So let me now, let me go back to, uh, let me go back to the five minute for, for a moment, yeah? And the reason why I'm going back to the five minute is because I want to have a look at the, the waves here. See, I think this might be first drop here because of uh, the way things are moving. So here's here's the bottom. So we've got it. We've got it. one, two. The push away. The push away. Is without going into just too much detail. This looks like a, a small impulse with an A, B, C, and then a a one, two. Or a one, two, again a push away. Honestly, it's hard to tell. What I'm looking for is the is the is the pattern of the impulse because we're gonna find that from the bottom here all the way to where it goes to up here to mountain peak is going to be a five-step impulse. One, two, three, four, five. That's what's gonna be, yeah? So here's one, sorry, zero, one, two. Here's the push away. There's always a push away. After the push away, you get that 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 W. So once you get the W, is then you start to get the scoops. So even if this was one, two, and again, this is always a not so easy to read, but one, two. If we get another push up here at three, well, when we reach a peak, wherever that happens to be, then we're gonna get four. We get the retrace, and four will come down, wherever it is, and then we get five to blow off top, wherever that happens to be. So the question is, is this is definitely the push away. This is definitely that W pattern. Is the, is the scooping here, there's always three. So I don't know whether this is the W and this is the first scoop, or this is the first scoop, second scoop, third scoop. 
it will reveal itself when it reaches a peak wherever it is and it does a bigger retrace and you go okay that's three here's four okay now when this starts to turn and go up we know there's the blow off top okay so now we're we're looking for that now let me go back to the 90 minute so what i'll be looking for is is between now and and i'd say two o'clock tonight so it's it's 11 the next three hours 11 12 is when the the vwap will reset then one two is i think it's pretty clear that unless there's a capitulation a strong one here and i don't think there will be because we're still on the push up this 20 is going to break the vwap so i think at 12 o'clock this 20 is going to break the vwap the the vwap will come up ah uh, okay excuse me is the VWAP is going to come up here. The 20 is going to have to work to get back up to the VWAP. So I think that you'll get a continuation of the 20 and the 55. Let's say the, the whatever this is, the VWAP is going to be up here. Then what happens is the VWAP starts to go sideways. So, and I'll show you what I mean by that. If I go back to, there you go. So look at the, Look at the, look at look at this one here. It comes up and it goes sideways. But now this is this is a gradual thing. So on the five minute, you'll see it goes sideways first. When you click to the 15, is the the 15 will go sideways when the 15 candle turns. The 20, again, when the candle turns, it'll go sideways. So you're, you're looking at the five minute and the five minute the VWAP will turn sideways first and it'll still be straight up on the hour because this the next hour candle hasn't come so then the the the, the 15 minute turns the VWAP goes sideways is the half hour turns the VWAP goes sideways but on the hour the VWAP is still pointing up until the hour turns so and then you see a series of of a turning like this you know until you go through the whole the whole timeline so you can see, you can see how it, how it, how there you go. See how it behaved there, yeah. So now what's going to happen is this VWAP is going to go up like this again. It'll go up like this, okay. So now the question is, is how much of a lift is this going to get? Is when the VWAP comes up, is will it be support for continuation, or will it be resistance that creates the tree? And then it's resistance that creates the four and then the five. Or will it be support where we go, no, there's got more in this. It's going to be support. It gives it an extra little lift before we get the three, four, five. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to be looking at. And where is that battle going to play out a little bit? It's going to play out. Look at where we are now. What's next to pump? price action on the 90 minute it's the five crossing the vwap but now the vwap's going to move away so now it resets itself okay so now watch this i'm going to come back to the hour okay so now is when the vwap shoots up here the the 20 and the 55 on the hour are actually going to be closer to the VWAP. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say the VWAP goes to there. Okay. Look how look how close. Let's say at 12 o'clock VWAP goes straight to there. In one moment it's there. Look how close to the at the moment the 20 is. Just as an example. If I go back to the two hour, look the 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 20 is further away the 90 minute a little bit further away but look there's the hour but if we go to the half hour look it's closer okay so now the vwap goes to there and starts going sideways 
look, the 20 is the, the 20 on the half hour is closer to breaking through and giving it the push up. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. So look, VWAP comes all the way to there. Look how close to 20 is on the 15 minute. Is that you give it a couple of 15 minutes and this 20 could be breaking through for continuation. We go to the five minute. And look, VWAP goes straight up at 12 o'clock and look how close the 20 is. So if the 20 keeps going for continuation, is the 20 on the the 20 on the five minute breaks it and it sends price action up. So what's happened is because the VWAP resets itself, it also resets the MAs that are underneath it. If they want to keep going up, is now we go through the cycle of the five breaking it again. And then when the five breaks it, the 15 comes up and breaks it again. So now we have a continuation and all the MA start to come up and break it again. If we have capitulation where it turns and, and starts to go down, is rather than the five for continu continuation, the five will take a turn and it goes down like this. Now VWAP has become resistance. So the VWAP has become resistance rather than support. Five breaks through, comes back, tests it, sits on it, and then up it goes. Gets rejected, maybe it wants to have another go, gets rejected again. And you get the play of it like that. So this is why it's always interesting, it's always, it's always important to see the turn of the day and what way the VWAP is going to play. Now what's great about, what's great about uh, recognizing the pattern in the in the arcs is let's just have a little zoom out is what what do we know what do we know about price action well it's had this uh, wave down now it's on this wave up and has it completed that wave up no it hasn't so the VWAP when it comes up it's either going to support the push up to to go for that mountain peak sooner, you know, with a small, a small three, four, five, or if it pushes up and we get a rejection, it'll push it down temporarily before it lets it come back up again. So, so that's that's essentially its two options. It's going to do that. What it's not going to do, it's not going to become rejection and then push it push it down uh, all the way to third drop. Because look, look, look even here, we're on the one hour. One, two, the push away. Here's the W. One scoop, it definitely one scoop. Two scoops. It looks like we need at least a, a third one, which we may get before 12 o'clock, possibly, is if we do, although, okay, Maybe not because look, it's twenty. It's seven minutes past uh, eleven, and if this stays red, there isn't a time for that third scoop. Okay. Okay. So so now let me put let me put the fib on it. Okay. So here's the bottom. Here's the top. Is here it is. Look at look, look at this. Look at look look at that. Comes up, touches the O5. Comes up. Even, even this here. Move this other way. It breaks through. Comes back and sits on the 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 what's this? The two three six. Retest the two three six. Floats along. Pushes up to the O5. Rejection. Pushes back up, rejection here is here's the 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 golden pocket is it's definitely definitely looks like one and two at least. Um, so 
I'm guessing that we're going to get another push up and then the three back to the four and then the five uh, I'd imagine that's the play of it yeah and I reckon that the the 786 seems to be very popular at the moment that there's extra volume in so a lot of the times we're going to the 786 the last week or two so I would suggest that uh, is whatever way it's going to play out is we get a lift we get a retrace and then we get a blow off top and it'll be interesting to see whether the VWAP when it moves will it become support uh, or temporary resistance so that's that's what I'm looking for and then the reset of the MAs so when you're watching this when the when the VWAP resets is go back to your five put the put the put these MAs and the VWAP on your on your arc is when the 12 o'clock turns look where the VWAP goes to and then go back and look at your five minute and check where the 20 and the 55 are in relationship to it and you'll see the reset of the the moving averages and then you can begin to check see back to the five you can begin to follow your moving averages and watch how they cross for divergence watch how they cross for divergence on the way up is if this turns and crosses here you know there's a spill coming is so look for and follow the divergences of it and just get used to following them and then you'll start to see the play of them and uh, you can follow through you can follow through the different timelines and i'll keep this I'll, just the last thing i'm going to show you yeah is i was posting this today is you know look long here look the five the five breaking the 55 the little lift is the the the, the five breaking the view up and the 55 look there's a there's a lift nice little lift is but then i was going through them is here's the here's the 10 breaking here's the same lift so here's that lift but look there's that there's that lovely pump of the breaking through here's the 15 now it's flicking through the the, the 20. see see the, see the 20 breaks a little higher for continuation The 25 breaks a little bit higher for continuation. The 30 breaks it a little higher. There's the 45 breaking the, the VWAP. So what I'm doing here is I'm checking for continuation. 45 breaks the VWAP, 45 breaks the, the 55, the VWAP's coming up here. So again, this, this 20 breaking the, the 55 here, is telling me that this is coming up for continuation if there's a lift up that's going to keep lifting it so you can see when this come breaks this and it's support it's only going to keep going and then look when it breaks the view up there's an extra pump but now i look at the i look at the hour and look here's now i'm looking it's falling along here and i'm going I'll go back to 45 so you can see that the on the 45 minute the 20 is the support here so it crosses this so now i know there's lift up and look it's supporting this so now i know there's good support here yeah but i'm going is this going to go is going to retrace going to reset or is it going to like a retrace or is it going to break up let me see what the what the what the hour wants to do i'll go okay the hour the 20 is coming up look at, at the peak of it here look the, the hour is you can see it's coming up to break to 55 so when i start to see the hour coming up like this the 45 minute is supporting it the hour is coming up you can see that the 20 is definitely going to break to 55 you go okay this is going to break soon i think i might have even posted a i'm not sure it was a 45 to 50 minute i said when this breaks through it's going to pop and then two minutes later it popped because you can see you can see it coming yeah so again the hour is telling you for continuation okay how strong is that it's sitting on the vwap here it is it's going to break the vwap look it's 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 popping again it's giving it another pop so you can you can follow the timelines how did that 90 minute play into this now we're back into the story again look the 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 on the 90 minute there's the 20 vwap breaks the 55 the the 20 breaks the 55 and look for this we're getting a nice uh, getting a nice pump getting a nice a nice pump up but it didn't break the the v, it didn't break the VWAP, which would give which would give it another 
another lift. So now at 12 o'clock when this, will this break it? You know, well, I'm actually, <laughs> no, well, I'm not going to have to correct myself again because the view up is going to go up here. So it's not going to break it. It, it resets. We've got to go back to the five minute and see if the five minute wants to go for continuation or is there a little bit of exhaustion and we do a little a little a little uh, retrace. So it could be a three, a four, a five, or does the five, the ten, and the fifteen want to keep going and give it that that extra lift, that 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 last final lift before we finally reach three, four, five. So that's what we're looking for. And one scoop, two scoops, you know, we gotta see. So that's a. That's where we're going, is when we're looking to call the top of this, is it's easy enough. We're going to see the, the three. When you start to see it retrace, is there's the retrace, and then we're looking for the looking for the five, yeah? Um, and that'll give us a good indication when it's gonna it's going to uh, it's gonna top out. There you go. So has has anybody any questions? Anybody, anybody, any questions? Like, I know I, I know I explain a lot, uh, but I'm explaining it so I'm, I'm talking it through and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you my process as a, as it's happening. Is if you, if you follow it, as price action is moving, is every, every step I described there, you, it. it it's only one step after the next. So what I've said a lot is is if you're following it step by step, you'll see the you'll see the 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 divergences coming. Like you'll you'll see them coming, and then you'll see what happens when they cross over. And it's very good for you to 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 follow them and recognize the divergence and the effects it has, because it it's. There's not a there's not a hundred different versions of it. Like price action moves up and down in waves, is impulses and corrections. It's just waves up and down. So you'll start to notice the, the more you see the pattern, you can see you can see the way the, the lay of the land is going, so to speak. Um so it's good to just get used to talking your way through the process of the divergences on the um, on the on the MAs, relating them to the different stages of the arc, and you're knowing that okay, well, if you're hitting skyline, is you're looking for a resistance peak, second spike, mid range high, third spike, double top, first drop is here. First drop is a tricky one. By the way, this is this is this is the same. See this lift here. This is the same lift as um, as last time is when we got caught when we got caught here uh, anticipating um, anticipating first drop is anticipating here that from from third spike on on a, on the hour is that third spike is we're looking for a, a first drop. And it looked like first drop was going to go down another leg, and it didn't. It it come up like this, uh, and the same the same is happening here. Is is there's third spike, it's coming up, and third first drop first drop is here. Um, there wasn't there wasn't there wasn't there wasn't an interest in price action to have that to have that be substantial. So so this time around is a. Uh, it seems to be repeating that, but in a smaller, a smaller, a smaller version of it, so to speak. Yeah, um, and then also, you can see this channel here. So look at look at this look at this channel here. So here's this channel. It's after breaking out of this channel. So the target for this, when it breaks out, is the top of the channel, which is back to 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 skyline here. So rather than going to the to the full top is what well, we're looking at it, it hitting resistance peak so if you look at resistance peak here um give me a box just as a so there's the there's the space there look 
So now here's the resistance peak, is here's the way down until it dropped. So here's the golden pocket, here's the 702, and here's the 786. So now is the, the it breaks this channel, is the target will be the top of the channel. Okay, but now realistically, is rather than going right to the top, which it may do, it may create a, a nice strong uh, uh, V-shaped recovery, uh, or again, you got that W, where I think hitting the golden pocket is, uh, I think there's more there's more in it than that. Is the reasonable one would be uh, the 702 uh, at 78.50. That'd be the reasonable target, yeah. But lately, price action has been going to the 786. So the 786 is up at uh, 80.44. 80.44 80, is now breaking the channel. The target is the top, back up to the top. So I think it, within this range here is, is I think the reasonable one is the 702, is I think the more likely one would be the 786. One, because it's been hit lately, and then two is the top of the channel will be the real target. So it's still, there's still a lot of space between, between the, the 786 and the, and the, top, of the top of the skyline, top of the channel there, yeah? So, but I'll be watching it. So this is why I'm wondering about this, the scoops here, it's gonna hit a three, we're gonna have a four, and then we'll have that we'll have that blow off top. Uh, and again, we'll be looking to here we are here on the on the strategy chart. Is is uh let me let me clear this up a little bit. Let me bring this back down to something more, bring down to the bring it down to the 15 minute. That's the hour we're on. There's the 15 minute candles. There we go. There we go. So now look, here's our resistance line. Here's our support line. And because we're heading for mountain peak, um, is the target is higher. So again, I'll be looking to take profit here. And I'd say I'll take about 90% profit here. And what that means is that my my entry point is 66. My entry point is a little bit below this. It was 64 and I dollar costed in some, so it's up to 66. So I will take 90% profit here and I will still hold this position here. I'll leave a little bit in it, yeah? I will do a short from here and I'll look to have my, my, my target down here at 67.53. And again, I'll follow it down, is I'll, I'll take my short and what I'll do is I'll take 90% out of the short and then I will I will put money back in the long here. So even though the long entry might be down here, is it gives me when I put it in here or, or thereabouts, is it gives me that little bit of space that I'm still below this line. And then I'll dollar cost, I'll dollar cost back up. And then I'll be watching, because look, you're gonna uh, it comes down, there's gonna be a wave up, uh, a wave down, because we're coming down here first. Is we're going to go mountain peak, third drop, final bounce, final peak, and then we have the breakout. Okay, so it's quite possible that 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 uh, final bounce, uh, third drop, final bounce, final peak. Uh, I don't know how big they're going to be, so I got to I got to watch for that, and I have a suspicion that we're most likely going to go up rather than down. So let's say we're going to break up. So. Mountain peak, go short. Third spike, go long. Is I'll be watching to see here, and I'm going, now, do I do, is it looking like it's going to do a final peak and a small final bounce that we're not going to get it down here? It might be worth my while to stay in my position here and stay in for the long. I'm in excellent position. Let it retrace a little bit and up it goes. So I'm, I'll be watching for, you know, which way is this look like it's going to break out? Is if it was going to break down, well then in my long as it reaches its the final peak, I would take profit. I would go in on my short, and again a little bit of dollar costing. And as it comes down, if I think it's going to break down, is I I close my my long position and I follow it down. If I think it's going to break up, I stay in my long position and I close my short position. 
So I won't need to make that decision until mountain peak, third drop, final peak, and this is where, before I take my profit on final peak, because I'm in a position here, is I gotta ask myself, are we breaking up or are we breaking down? What what's what are the likelihood? What are the chances? Because if we're going up, I want to hold this position. It's a sweet position. Is and even if it wants to retrace a little bit, but not come back to here, I would still prefer to hold this position and then let it go. Because once it goes up, it gives me more space to dollar cost. So you might come out and go, yeah, but Roy, look, it'll come up here, it'll come down a little bit, you could take your profit and go back in again. Well, I could not take my profit. I could let it come back down here, I go back up, look, I've got my profit. Anyway, gonna get it. And then as it goes up, I have this extra space to dollar cost in. So I can put more money in the trade so that as it's going up, I'm actually making more. So it makes more sense to hold this position and then let it go up. But we got to let it play out and we got to look at the way things are going and you know is this does is does it want to go up um so we'll we'll look at that later on first we got to see what's going to happen here okay so let me just do one more zoom in here because it is 20 25 past 11 and on the 15 minute in the 15 minute, we've had the pump, a retrace, it's pumping again. On the half hour, okay, look, that, that retrace has now becoming a, a pump again. So it's quite possible that we might get that final push that could be the three. It could be the three, and then we get the, the four, and then we get the five. Um, one, two push away W even if this is one scoop two scoop three scoop hmm. don't know don't know we'll find out okay guys um, if you have any questions ask them now if you have no questions thank you very much for your time uh, I hope I've given you stuff to uh, to think about and to tease out um, and you, you get to if you think about this every time we set an arc Start following the, start following the, the MAs and reading them, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Have a great night. Thank you. Cheers.